from underground sinkholes to massive mining projects, join me as we delve into the depths of the Earth to explore some of the largest underground holes in the world. Starting with number 15, Cenote Chaktun. A cenote is a natural sinkhole resulting from the collapse of limestone bedrock, exposing groundwater underneath. Now, the word cenote originates from the Yucatec Maya language, meaning well. These geological formations are prevalent in the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico, where the limestone bedrock is abundant, creating an extensive network of underground rivers and caves. Cenote Chacton is situated near the town of Playa del Carmen in Quintana Roo in the Yucatan Peninsula. Now, unlike some cenotes that are open air, Chaktun is a cavern cenote, featuring a partially covered cave system. Its entrance leads visitors through a lush jungle, revealing a natural wonder beneath the surface. This cenote has clear, fresh water with a mesmerizing turquoise hue. Descending into it, divers and snorkelers encounter intricate stalactite and stalagmite formations, remnants of the geological process that shaped the cavern. The cenote's depth reaches approximately 65 feet, providing an immersive experience for those exploring its underwater beauty. The rock formations within Chaktun are primarily composed of limestone, a characteristic feature of cenotes in the Yucatan region. One notable species found here is the blind cave fish, which is adapted to the dark environment by losing its eyesight. The fish navigate through the caverns using other senses, such as their lateral line system, which detects vibrations in the water. Number 14. Puerto Princesa Underground River The Puerto Princesa Underground River, located in Palawan in the Philippines, is renowned for its unique ecosystem. This subterranean river is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the new seven wonders of nature. Within the underground river, a variety of organisms thrive in the dark and humid environment. One of the most notable is the Palawan swiftlet, a bird species that nests in its cave chambers. These birds navigate through the darkness using echolocation, emitting high-pitched sounds to locate their surroundings. Now, apart from the swiftlets, the river is also home to a diverse array of fauna, including bats, crabs, and various aquatic species. The limestone formations within it contribute to the habitat's distinct features. Stalactites create an otherworldly landscape for those exploring here. The river extends for approximately 8.2 kilometers, making it one of the longest underground rivers globally. Exploration here is regulated to protect the delicate ecosystem. Visitors can take a guided boat tour and navigate the river, allowing them to witness the remarkable geological formations and the rich biodiversity that thrives within. Number 13. Sima Humboldt Sima Humboldt is one of the world's largest sinkholes. It's located in the dense forest of Venezuela's Canaima National Park. It's formed by the collapse of a massive cave system. It is a natural marvel with distinct features. It plunges to a depth of approximately 1,030 feet and has a diameter of around 1,600 feet. Its size makes it one of the deepest and widest sinkholes on the planet. Situated in the Venezuelan Guyana highlands, Sima Humboldt's vast expanse is surrounded by lush vegetation and cliffs. The bottom of it remains largely unexplored, and its depths are not easily accessible. The challenging terrain and dense vegetation hinder direct exploration, limiting our knowledge of what lies beneath. Due to its remote location and difficult access, Sima Humboldt is not known to harbor significant human settlements or wildlife. The age of this place is challenging to determine precisely, but it's considered a product of long-term geological processes. The collapse that formed the sinkhole likely occurred over an extended period shaped by natural forces. While some adventurous individuals may attempt to explore the sinkhole, it's not a common destination for recreational activities. The challenging topography and lack of infrastructure make it a difficult site to access. Number 12. The Waitomo Glowworm Caves in 1887, English surveyor Fred Mace and local Maori chief Tane Tenerao embarked on a daring exploration of the Waitomo Caves in New Zealand. Venturing into the cave system on a small raft, they followed the stream's descent into the underground, relying on candles to navigate this dark place. As they traversed the subterranean passages, an enchanting spectacle unfolded before them. Amidst the darkness, they discovered thousands of glowworms peacefully suspended above. These glowworms, the bioluminescent larvae of various species including beetle fireflies, beetle larvae, and the fungus gnat, created this breathtaking celestial display. The fungus gnat larvae, particularly abundant in the Waitomo Caves, clung to the rock walls, deploying long strings of sticky mucus as they hunted. When observed in large clusters, their bioluminescence formed a truly astounding sight. 
So it should come as no surprise that Mesa and Tinerau returned repeatedly to delve deeper and deeper into these caves. During an independent expedition, Tinerau uncovered a land entrance to the very one utilized by tourists worldwide today. In 1889, he and his wife initiated guided tours, marking the beginning of tourism in the Waitomo Caves. Now, remarkably, many present-day cave guides trace their lineage back to Tinerau and his wife, maintaining a tradition that spans generations. That fungus gnat with that radiant glow continue to captivate visitors with that ethereal beauty, creating an enduring connection to the awe-inspiring natural wonders discovered by Mason Tinerau over a century ago. Number 11. Ryusendo Cave Ryusendo Cave, one of Japan's three largest limestone caves, boasts expansive subterranean galleries that arch over deep sunless lakes, containing breathtakingly clear blue water. It's designated as a natural monument by the Japanese government in 1934. This cavern is distinguished not only by its remarkable size and enchanting aquatic features, but also by the unique varieties of bats that inhabit its depths. Surveyed since 1920, this cave has revealed about two miles of passages, with a half mile open to the public. Ongoing exploration suggests that the cave's full extent could surpass three miles. Eight underground lakes fed by a crystal clear spring water river from the bedrock grace Riosendo, with three accessible to visitors. Submerged lighting in these lakes accentuate those brilliant blues and greens of the limestone filtered waters, their clarity and depth intensifying the saturated colors. Among these lakes is an extraordinary fourth lake, not part of the public tour, reaching an impressive depth of almost 400 feet. This depth makes it not only the deepest underground lake in Japan, but also one of the most transparent lakes globally. Guided by elevated walkways, bridges, and stairs, and visitors embark on a 30-minute tour traversing the water's surface to the cavern's roof. From this vantage point, amidst the stalactites, intrepid explorers may encounter some of the rare bats inhabiting the cave. These include the brown long-eared bats, eastern long-fingered bats, Hilgendorf's tube-nosed bats, and greater horseshoe bats, adding to the mystique of the Rusendo Cave. Number 10. Jacob's Well Jacob's Well, an artesian spring with a rich history dating back millennia, flows from the Trinity Aquifer, forming the source of the Cypress Creek. Nestled in Texas, this natural wonder has been revered by the Native Americans for generations and is sustained by an underground reservoir with extensive chambers within the aquifer. The first written mention of Jacob's Well comes from the 19th century book by Jacob de Cordova, a pioneer land agent in Texas. In the early 20th century, the well's waters gushed like a fountain, making a diving difficult. Over time, the waters have calmed, drawing people down to the wildlife in its serene depths. Daredevils free dive into this well, descending as deep as 100 feet and maneuvering through thin openings into the underwater cave. However, only licensed scuba divers are permitted to explore these chambers, with a five hour journey to the principal passage described as challenging, unforgiving environment by the Jacob's Well Exploration Project. Despite its allure, Jacob's Well has gained the reputation as one of the most dangerous diving spots globally, with at least nine recorded fatalities. The underwater cave system's chambers, including a deceptive fake exit in the third chamber and a narrow passageway in the fourth, pose some serious challenges to divers. Native species like the Texas blind salamander adapted to the 68 degree water add to this unique ecosystem. As the spring empties into Cypress Creek, the surrounding 81 acres of the Jacobs Well natural area teem with diverse wildlife, including reptiles, amphibians, birds, and mammals. Number 9. Sudwala Caves the Sudwala Cave, situated in Mpumalanga in South Africa, stands as the world's oldest known cave, with a formation dating back around 240 million years. Their inception coincided with the era when Africa was part of the supercontinent Gondwana, which includes present-day South America, Africa, Arabia, Madagascar, India, Australia, and Antarctica. Formed within the Malami Dolomite Ridge, this cave system has remarkable features, starting with the P.R. Owen Hall, a massive chamber near the entrance measuring 230 feet in diameter and 121 feet high. These caves extend for miles, showcasing various named features like Samson's Pillar, the Rocket, and Screaming Monster, formed between 140 and 200 million years ago. Notable spots such as the Devil's Workshop, Fairyland, and a ceiling pattern of the map of Africa add to this cave's age-old history. 
While signs of life inside the caves are pretty sparse, they have historical significance. Homo habilis inhabited these caves around 1.8 million years ago, leaving primitive stone tools and archaeological finds. The caves later served as a fortress and a refuge for the Swazi prince Somkuba during a power struggle in the mid-1800s. Battles occurred at the entrance, defended by Sudwala after whom the caves were named, and despite attempts to smoke out the inhabitants, the natural flow of air inside the cave allowed them to survive. Used as an ammunition storage site by the Boers during the Second Boer War, rumors persisted of Paul Kruger hiding a hoard of gold in the cave, known as the Kruger Millions. They persist with its estimated worth at $500 million today. Since the 1970s, these caves' main chamber doubled as a concert hall accommodating 500 people, benefiting from excellent acoustics and pleasant temperatures, attributed to this mysterious flow of fresh air that's baffled researchers for centuries. Number 8. Avshalom Cave In May 1968, while workers at the Hartuv Quarry in the Judean Hills were conducting routine explosives quarrying, an unusual gap in the rock face was revealed. A large cave adorned with ancient stalactites dating back 300,000 years was discovered. Initially kept secret to preserve the formations, the Ashvalom Cave, is also known as the Sorek Cave, was declared a nature reserve on March 16, 1975. Spanning 50,000 square feet, the cave houses a stunning array of stalactites, with the largest exceeding 13 feet in length. These formations were meticulously crafted over millennia by the slow dripping of water through the ceiling rocks. Some stalactites and stalagmites have merged to create these pillars, contributing to the unique appearance. The organic shapes within the cave resemble coral reefs and tentacles, prompting comparisons to objects like elephant ears, ice cream cones, the Lion King, and even the U.S. Capitol building. The introduction of modern lighting system in 2012 further enhanced the cave's allure. Previously illuminated by automobile headlamps, while light triggered algae growth threatening the pristine rock formations. While some park officials initially expressed concerns about detracting from the cave's natural beauty, both shifting colors ranging from bright orange to deep purple breathed new life into the ancient cavern. Boris Kripak, a Russian-born archaeologist working at the cave, acknowledged this transformative effect, likening it to the cave breathing and dispelling worries about it turning into a discotheque. The Avshalom Cave, with its mesmerizing formations and captivating lighting, stands as one of Israel's remarkable natural wonders. Moving on to number 7, Munsted Kalkruba. If the walls of Munsted Kalkruba could speak, they would share tales of the thousands who traversed the mines over the centuries. But perhaps more captivating would be the stories of the current inhabitants, thousands of bats that have made these ancient caves their home. Originating from the 11th century, when Denmark embraced Christianity, the limestone mining flourished as the stone became crucial for cathedral construction. The miners employed assembly line limestone ferrying until the mid-19th century when machinery was introduced, leading to the extensive mining. The profitability of the limestone persisted until the mid-20th century, and the mine ceased operations in 1953. Post-closure, it changed ownership multiple times. Ankur Buch, a concert violinist, once owned the caves and utilized their acoustics for performances, a tradition that continues today. Alongside cultural events, a museum showcasing Denmark's oldest industry operates within the mine. Now, this cave spans about 37 miles of underground paths, with only two kilometers electrically lit. Varying in size, some tunnels reach cathedral heights, while others are low, requiring adults to stoop. These tunnels open into cave rooms, some housing entire underground lakes, and visitors here can explore the caves independently or opt for a train ride tour. Train rides are available from May to August, respecting the cave's inhabitants, around 18,000 bats. During spring and summer, the bats roam Jutland, feasting on insects. In fall and winter, they retreat into the caves for hibernation, prompting a hiatus in train rides. As the cold season progresses, the bats emerge from hibernation, testing the climate by flying about and hanging from the cave ceilings as they await spring, an integral part of the unique ecosystem thriving in the Munsted Kalkurba. Number 6. The Beshevo Blue Grotto the Blue Grotto, or Blue Cave on the island of Beševo in the Croatian Adriatic, is a captivating sea cave renowned for its mesmerizing blue light. It's located in the central Dalmatian archipelago. It's a popular show cave attracting visitors due to the enchanting glow that emerges during specific times of the day. To reach the Blue Cave, travelers must first make their way to the island of Vish, accessible by ferry from Split. From Vish, a journey by bus or motorbike to the fishing town of Komisa is necessary. Once here, visitors can hire a boat or join a tour for an hour-long boat ride to the island of Beševo. 
Although reaching the cave requires some effort, the reward is well worth it, as the Blue Cave stands as a captivating natural wonder. Baron Eugene von Ranaset first described the painted cave, suggesting the artificial entrance that made it accessible to boats. Discovered by Croatian fishermen in ancient times, the Blue Cave became more accessible in 1884, when an entrance large enough for small boats was created with dynamite. Before this, the only access was through a small underwater entrance. The cave, formed by the erosion of limestone rock, is 24 meters long, 10 to 12 meters deep, and up to 15 meters high. The cave attracts over 10,000 visitors annually, and tourist boats often include a visit to another similar cave on the island, the Zelena Spilja, or the Green Grotto, known for its emerald green tones due to a similar light phenomenon. The cave is most stunning between 11 a.m. and 12 p.m. on sunny days. The brilliant blue glow occurs when the sunlight enters the water and reflects off the limestone floor. The radiant sun illuminates the water, casting a brilliant blue hue on the cave walls, creating an ethereal and enchanting ambiance. Number 5. Sonote Iquil Sonote Iquil is near the famous Chichen Itza pyramids in Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. It's positioned in the midst of the region's lush vegetation. This cenote showcases nature's marvels with a unique geological formation. It's primarily composed of limestone, a porous rock that plays a pivotal role in the creation of cenotes. Iqqil, like other cenotes, is a natural sinkhole formed over thousands of years. The process begins with the dissolution of the soluble limestone bedrock by rainwater, forming extensive cave systems and underground rivers. With a depth exceeding 130 feet, it's a testament to this evolution, and its formation spans a pretty lengthy period. The cenote itself is a visual spectacle, with light filtering in from above creating a magical ambiance. Mini waterfalls cascade down the edges, and lush vines wrap around the surroundings, creating a natural curtain. Black catfish swim alongside visitors, adding a touch of aquatic life to the scene. As a popular tourist destination, Iqqil has garnered attention for both its natural beauty and historical significance. Archaeologists have uncovered bones and jewelry in its watery depths, indicating its past use as a sacred Mayan sacrificial site. Despite its tourist appeal, the site is well maintained, offering amenities such as a restaurant, overnight accommodations, lockers, and life vests for swimmers. Iqqil gained recognition as an avenue for the Red Bull Cliff Diving World Series in 2010, 2011, and 2014. The series, known for its high-energy cliff diving competitions, selected this place as a site, showcasing the cenote's unique features and attracting participants from around the world. Number 4. Sotano de las Colondrinas the Cave of Swallows, or Sotano de las Golondrinas in Spanish, is an open-air pit cave located in Aquisman, San Luis Potosi, Mexico. Its elliptical mouth, situated on a karst slope, measures 49 by 62 meters wide, and is undercut by its entire perimeter, widening to a room approximately 300 by 130 meters wide. The cave floor boasts a 300-meter freefall drop from the lowest side of the opening, with a 370-meter drop from the highest side, making it the world's largest known cave shaft, the second deepest pit in Mexico, and potentially the 11th deepest sheer drop globally. The cave has been known to the local Huasutec people since ancient times, with its first documented descent by T.R. Evans, Charles Borland, and Randy Stearns on April 4, 1967. It's formed in the El Abra and Tamabra formations, limestones of the Middle Cretaceous Age, with speleogenesis resulting from solutional enlargement along a vertical fracture. The cave's temperature is pretty low, and vegetation grows abundantly at the mouth, while the floor is covered with debris and guano. The guano may pose risks of histoplasmosis in humans, and inhabitants include millipedes, scorpions, insects, snakes, and birds. The main shaft has a series of narrow pits known as the crevice, totaling about 140 meters, extending the cave's depth to up to 515 meters. The Cave of Swallows is a favored destination for extreme sports tourism, particularly vertical caving. Cavers anchor ropes on the low side, utilizing bolts installed in the rock for safety. Repelling to the floor can take up to an hour, and climbing back out ranges from 40 minutes to over two hours. The cave also attracts base jumpers due to its impressive sheer drop, providing an exhilarating experience for extreme sports enthusiasts. Number 3. Mammoth Cave Mammoth Cave National Park, located in south-central Kentucky, is recognized as the world's longest cave system. With 52,000 acres primarily in Edmondson County, the park extends into Hart and Barron counties. The Green River runs right through the park, fed by the Nolan River tributary with the park boundaries. 
Established as a national park on July 1, 1941, Mammoth Cave National Park has 426 miles of surveyed passageways, making it over one and a half times longer than the second longest cave system globally, Mexico's Sacatun Underwater Cave. The cave system is officially known as the Mammoth Flint Ridge Cave System since the connection discovery in 1972. The limestone layers beneath the sandstone from top to bottom are the Gierken Formation, the Genevieve Limestone, and the St. Louis Limestone. The cave's dry upper passages lack formations due to the protective sandstone caprock, which resists water penetration. Dissolved sandstone caprock creates features like the frozen Niagara Room, while changes in rock composition mark limestone sandstone transitions. Cedar Sink, a massive sinkhole, showcases a river entering and disappearing underground. Mammoth Cave is also home to various bat species, including the Indiana bat, gray bat, little brown bat, big brown bat, and tricolored bat. Populations have declined and ecological restoration efforts aim to restore the bat's habitats. Other cave inhabitants include crickets, cave salamanders, eyeless cave fish, and cave crayfish. The cave has become such a cultural mainstay that it's made its way into countless pieces of pop culture and fiction. H.P. Lovecraft's 1918 short story, The Beast in the Cave, is set in the Mammoth Cave showcasing the cave's enduring influence across different genres. Guided by Voices, an American rock band referenced Mammoth Cave in their 1990 song Mammoth Cave, emphasizing the cave's cultural impact beyond literature and gaming. In Herman Melville's 1851 novel Moby Dick, the Kentucky Mammoth Cave metaphorically represents a sperm whale's stomach in Chapter 75. Melville's inclusion reflects the cave's widespread recognition as a cultural reference. Number 2. The Great Blue Hole the Great Blue Hole, located approximately 100 kilometers off the coast of Belize, stands as a remarkable underwater sinkhole, and it's believed to be the largest of its kind. This circular marvel has dimensions of over 300 meters across and 125 meters deep, revealing a captivating rich blue hue. Situated in the heart of the Lighthouse Reef Atoll, it's encircled by a coral island that embraces the shallow, light turquoise waters of a lagoon. During low tide, parts of the reef surrounding the deep blue hole crest the water's surface due to the shallow water levels here. Renowned undersea explorer Jacques Cousteau aboard his ship Calypso in 1971 brought global attention to the Great Blue Hole by designating it one of the world's top 10 diving locations. Cousteau's exploration unveiled huge stalactites and stalagmites beneath the surface, some reaching impressive heights of 9 to 12 meters. British diver and author Ned Middleton is credited with naming the feature drawing parallels to Australia's Great Barrier Reef. Divers today can still witness these geological formations, with increasing clarity as they delve deeper into the water. The Great Blue Hole is an integral part of the Belize Barrier Reef Reserve System, recognized as UNESCO World Heritage Site. Dive tours are available from various locations, including Long Cay, Ternafe Islands, Amber Gris Cay, Cay Calker, and Belize City. However, diving into the Great Blue Hole is restricted to experienced individuals with more than 24 completed dives. But snorkeling is permitted at the top of the hole, offering a chance to observe wildlife along the bordering reef. Number 1. Ice Riesenwelt Ice Cave The Ice Riesenwelt Ice Cave, situated near the Tenen Bridge section of the Alps near Würfen, Austria, is a captivating natural wonder and holds the distinction of being the largest ice cave globally. This subterranean marvel stretches over 26 miles and showcases an otherworldly fusion of ice formations and rock structures. Nestled within the Hockkogel Mountain, the cave's name translates to World of the Ice Giants in English, capturing the essence of its grandeur. The creation of Ice Riesenfeld began during the early stages of the formation of the Alps, with the initial development of passages and chambers. Over time, water seeped into these cavities, freezing and sculpting the intricate ice formations seen today. The entrance to the ice cave reveals a mystical journey as visitors traverse a series of narrow passages and expansive chambers adorned with spectacular ice stalactites, stalagmites, and ice formations that evoke a surreal atmosphere. Unlike so many caves of various types of hard rock, Eisleisenwelt experiences a dynamic process of ice formation and melting, influenced by seasonal changes. The cave freezes during the winter months when cold air infiltrates the passages and it starts to melt during the warmer months. Exploration is facilitated by guided tours that navigate through various chambers, showcasing the ice sculptures and providing insights into the cave's geological history. The prominent feature includes the Great Ice Embankment, a colossal formation that stands as a testament to nature's artistic prowess. 
The journey to the cave sets the stage for the awe-inspiring experience that awaits within. Its significance extends beyond its geological marvels, as it holds cultural value in the local folklore. Legends and tales associated with the cave contribute to that mystique, creating an enchanting backdrop. While Eisfriesenfeld may not be accessible throughout the year due to its sensitivity to temperature fluctuations, the summer months, from May to October, do provide an optimal window for visitors to witness the cave's frozen splendor. Its ephemeral nature, coupled with its immense size and stunning ice formations, solidifies its place as a captivating natural attraction, inviting adventurers to delve into the world of the ice giants. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Thank you to our channel members.